Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're in Windenburg, a building in the little downtown slash old town area. Uh, and I decided to build a starter home because uh, there was quite a few requests to build, you know, more houses in the Tudor style. Because it's a lot of fun. And I thought, why not do a little starter home for Windenburg? Because there are, there are a couple. But you know what, I wanted something a little bit more interesting. So I've decided to do uh, this home here on the 20 by 20 lot. And like I said, in the old town area and I did it all on diagonal uh, which I thought would be a little bit of fun also because I think it looks a little bit cooler uh, especially on this particular lot uh, having it on the diagonal because you have like the entrance on that sort of on that one corner is the only area so you can get into that like that lot so I thought it kind of made sense to sort of angle it toward where the entrance is and have like the, the whole house on a diagonal. Uh, so I did a lot of messing around with the walls here to make it actually fit properly on the lot. I also had to be careful not to, you know, spend <laughs> spend too much money building this because otherwise uh, I would have gone a little bit over budget. So I couldn't make the home too big, although it does end up being quite spacious. Uh, it has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. I guess one, technically one half bathroom. Uh, there's like a half bathroom downstairs and then a full bathroom upstairs. And there's also a very large sort of master bedroom uh, in the home as well, which is pretty good. So yeah, just messing around with the roof. I decided to make it a little bit, a uh, little bit arched, I guess, or a little bit curved, uh, just to match in with the style of the other house next door. And I think the house that used to be here also had a slightly curved roof. So I did the same thing there, uh, just doing the little entrance archway in, in the front there, getting the black trim all around the house, just because I wanted to make it look like the other one next door, uh, make them match a little bit, uh, it makes a little bit of sense that way. Uh, just playing around with the roof so it actually all fits in together there, because uh, especially on diagonals, the roof is kind of weird, you got to make sure you don't, uh, <laughs> oh god, look at the house right now. I was downsizing it a little bit because I realized I made it just a tad too big. Also, the roof at the back, I didn't actually notice this until actually a few minutes ago. That roof there on the left at the back doesn't actually touch the main roof. Like there's a big gap there. Did fix I did fix that. Uh, I think I fixed it after the screenshots. Or maybe it was before I took the screenshots. I'm not actually 100% on that. But it is fixed. It is fixed in the uh, the gallery version that I uploaded. Of course, you can download this house on the gallery. Uh, the link is down below. Uh, there's also... I, I presume I posted the screenshots to my Facebook page again, like I did with the last build. So if you go to my Facebook page, the link is down below. You can see the screenshots if you want to have a little bit of a closer look at it. Uh, yeah, so on the, on the ground floor, I went with that stone texture all the way around. You know, give it a nice sturdy base. And then on the top level, it went for the uh, sort of... Uh, Tudor style trim, uh, wall trims and all that. All different types, making it, you know, giving it a little bit of detail uh, and seeing how we go with that. Uh, so there's a lot of little poppy outfits. <laughs> Don't know what the technical term for them is. I'm just going to call them the poppy outfits. And I put like the sort of more detailed uh, wallpapers on those uh, to give it a kind of more refined look, I guess. I also just put a floor trim around that level because there were some points uh, where it, uh, it just needed uh, like sort of a, a black floor trim going around it to, to finish off the look and that's uh, what I added in there. And I think for for a starter home, I'm really happy with the, ha the way this house turned out. Like the actual, the, the front of the house, I put a lot of detail into it. There's actually a, there's a whole bunch of plants and uh, nice little details that really just make it look a little bit more lush than it may do otherwise. So uh, most of the money went into the exterior and the front of the home. Uh, the inside is obviously very basic, but there's quite a lot of room to expand on the inside in terms of... Um, uh, in terms of bedrooms, because there's, there's three bedrooms, but only one of the bedrooms is actually furnished because I couldn't afford to do the other two. But that gives you plenty of room to sort of expand the home a little bit later. Uh, as you can see, that I was just moving the house around there to make it sort of fit on the lot a little bit better. Uh, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do terrain paint or flooring. I decided to go with a flooring pathway uh, in the end just because... Uh, the terrain paint didn't match with anything. It looked kind of weird. And uh, these sort of dark tiles, they sort of blend in with the world uh, pathway a little bit better than the, the terrain paint did there. Uh, so here we are using the brand new windows as well, going around the home, uh, chucking all those in. And uh, I'm using those little, I uh, don't know what they're called, but they're sort of little wooden supporty, detail-y bits. Yeah, I don't know the technical terms. I, I'm not an architect. I don't know all the, all the fancy terminology for everything. So um, we'll just call them the, the supporty bits. And then we have the, the pokey outy bits. And then we have uh, the bits with glass in them, also known as windows and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, so um, I'm the, the front of the house, I think, is like you can see it's already starting to look pretty nice around the front. The back, not so much detail. Like pretty much the, the entire like the... 
the rest of the lot, like there's no garden because it was just not something I could afford to do. But of course, this is a starter home. I, I much rather uh, putting more detail in the home and spending a little bit more money on the exterior of the home rather than uh, doing the garden on this particular build anyway. Uh, now, one thing that I completely forgot until I started putting stairs in is that there's no diagonal stairs in the game. Because uh, as you can tell, this whole house is on a diagonal. So I had to find a spot where I could put the stairs in. And then I, oh god, the la the layout, you'll see that the layout took me a while to do, because I wanted to fit three bedrooms in this. There's plenty of room for three bedrooms. Uh, just the diagonal stairs did not help, you know, facilitate figuring that out. Oh, jeez, got a little bit of hiccup there. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can see I'm just trying to nut out a way to get the three bedrooms to work there. Also, well, three bedrooms and a bathroom I need upstairs. So I need four different rooms upstairs here. And it was, uh... Yeah, the, those stairs made it really difficult, essentially, because they, I, I really hope at some point they can put uh, some diagonal stairs in, because that would make life a lot easier. I'd also like some L-shaped stairs, you know, like stairs with like a landing that like turn a corner. Also, U-shaped stairs would be good. Also, spiral stairs would be good. Also, um... Elevators would be good. I was trying to think of the words. I don't know why that took me so long. Uh, also, escalators would be cool. Uh, just a lot more staring possibilities, really. Um, yeah, no, we need more stairs. Specifically diagonal stairs. I think out of all the stair types, I want diagonal stairs. Only I say that because we've never had them in The Sims. It's been 15 years of The Sims and diagonal stairs have never existed. Not once. Um, so... I mean, obviously, if, if that's the case, that the diagonal stairs haven't existed ever, I imagine there's some sort of complicated technological reason for that. Like, I mean, they, they wouldn't not put them in. Like, if it was real easy to do, they would have done it at some point in the past 15 years, but they haven't done it. So, for that reason, for the reason that they haven't done it before, I want diagonal stairs. Uh, and then, then we can get all the U-shaped ones later on. Now, the other kind of annoying thing... Um, was the, the floorboards, because because the whole house is diagonal, uh, <laughs> floorboards, you know, when you look at the house, it looks like all the floorboards are diagonal, but it's actually the house, so uh, that was kind of annoying. They do have the um, sort of triangle pattern floorboards that are, that are on the diagonal, but I didn't really like the way they looked. I would rather just have a single running uh, floorboard going across the room, so there's no there's no full-on diagonal flooring uh, for, for wood. Floorboards. <laughs> I don't know why I paused there, uh, which is a little bit, of, a little bit of a shame. But anyway, uh, so right there at the front, where the, the front door is, that's going to be your your living room. Then you have the kitchen there, and you saw the uh, the the tiny little sort of half bathroom there, which I think is pretty cool. I don't actually know if that works, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and you know what? Let's boot let's boot up my game now. I can actually just test it out. I did mean to test that out, but I totally forgot. I really hope that tiny little bathroom there works, so that's actually kind of cool. That's kind of, it, it's somewhat realistic in a way as well, because downstairs bathrooms can often just be, you know, like a single toilet with a with a sink. Maybe sometimes, they, sometimes they don't even have a sink uh, in the downstairs bathroom in, like, in small homes, so that's pretty cool. I hope it works. I'm loading up the game now to find out. Uh, the, wall, the wallpaper and the flooring is all standard throughout the house, just cheap stuff, because I didn't want to go extravagantly expensive and all the, uh, all the, you know, the wallpaper and flooring. Uh, upstairs we have the bath slash, uh, slash shower combo with a toilet and a sink, so we have a full bathroom upstairs. Downstairs is just the half. Uh, let me load into my build mode save here. And at the end of the house is a surprisingly big, like that is a very big bedroom for a for such a small home, which is actually pretty cool. And then you obviously have the two other rooms there that you could put single beds into or a nursery. And then down the stairs, obviously, uh, the living room kitchen. And there's also another room at the front of the house, which I would have turned into an office, uh, like with a desk and computer, and then probably would have done a chess table as well if I had the money. Uh, but here I am, I've loaded up the home. Let's see if I can uh, use the toilet, see if it works. So where is me Sim? Here he is. Oh yeah, you can use the toilet in that small bathroom just fine. No problems at all, which is actually awesome. Uh, I did also want to... Let me test the other bathroom too. I think that one should work fine, but I'll have a look at it. Yeah, so the kitchen, nice cheap stuff. Very, very plain looking in the kitchen. Um, there we go. So yeah, the other bathroom works fine too. Cool, alright. I'm really happy that that bathroom actually works. That's really, really cool. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Close up the game now, I don't need that open anymore. Uh, yeah, so just the living room is pretty standard stuff. I would have got themed furniture that actually matched the style of the home, but it was just too expensive, essentially. Like, for a starter home, I couldn't really afford the new, 
the new types of furniture. So I was like, all right, well, like, we'll have to have to use like the cheap stuff just so I don't have to worry about it. Obviously, I went around and did a little bit of terrain painting there because I couldn't do any like bushes or shrubbery in the garden. I thought I'd just do some terrain painting to give it a little bit of detail. Obviously, I also added the back door in just then um, because, you know, a back door would be useful. And now I'm just adding some more detailing to the home. I also just realized, because uh, I would actually finished the house at that point because I'd run out of money. Then I realized I hadn't changed the lights because I, I originally put those lights in as just a, a temporary way to light up the home while I was furnishing it. And now, now right here, I'm just trying to find a cheap light that produces, you know, enough light that it's not too dark. Uh, so that's currently what I'm doing. Just going through all the lights, trying to find something that's cheap and bright. Uh, clearly struggling because those lights were crap. Uh, then I found that one, which is a really hideous light, but it does the job and it's a lot cheaper than the other one, which in turn allowed me to do some more detail to the front of the home, which I'm really happy about. Adding some more uh, sort of, uh, what do you call it? Ivy? Yeah, that's the one. Ivy on the walls. Some little flower boxes as well around the home. So it, re it actually really gives it, I was able to give the front of the home a really nice detailed look. As you can see, I also added that gutter in that I'm recoloring now. It's like a gutter on the side. We've got these flower boxes. We've got ivy growing up the side of the home. I don't know. I, I really like the look of the front of the home. I made sure the front looked really nice. Uh, and just just don't go inside. That's where it looks cheap. Uh, also put that beautiful little uh, archway slash awning thing above the front door to give it even more detail there. And I think it looks pretty cool in the end. Had to remove some of the ivy though, because I did not have enough money. Uh, you will note that there is no post box on this home while I'm building it. I did add it in uh, before uploading it to the gallery, so do not worry about that. There is a post box in there indeed. Also, I added the bin in. There's a bin, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Here we're going around the screenshots of the home. I really love the front of the house. It is Looking pretty good for a starter home, I think, at the front anyway. Uh, going around the back, back is not quite as detailed. Obviously, the budget didn't allow for detailing everything, but I still think it looks pretty good uh, for the money that we had. Of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can download this from the gallery. Uh, there is a download link below, or you can search for hashtag the sim supply, or you can search for the sim supply, the same uh, name I have here on the channel, just without the spaces, and you'll find all of my lots over on the gallery. Um, but yeah. Yeah, just going through the screenshots. It's pretty basic furnishing as, you know, as you would expect in a starter home. So you can start up the game, buy this house without any cheats or, or anything. You can just jump right into the game in this beautiful home. Uh, well, beautiful on the outside, uh, subjective on the inside, uh, and, and get going. So that's just one of the empty bedrooms there. And uh, that's the bathroom, uh, the upstairs bathroom. And I think we have, yeah, I made sure to get photos of all the rooms so you could see. They're pretty decently sized. Like you can get quite a, it's quite a good, you know, family home. You can fit quite a few Sims in there, probably like four or five quite easily, which is pretty cool. There's a floor plan. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.